what's going on guys it's your boy mojo engineer mojo here i've been going through my emails and i've gotten a few questions about my experience from the pe exam uh, in particular i guess my afterthoughts um, my first answers were you know there's already a couple youtube videos that explain like the afterthoughts of the exam but after i watched them I realized that uh, they were kind of too specific in what they detail, and I feel like they can easily lead you down the wrong path of what of what you need to uh, study. And I'm gonna give you a general outline of how I felt about the P exam. Hey, what's up, guys and gals? I realized after reviewing the video that I left out the most important. Uh, topic, which I'll tell you in the beginning. I felt confident about 35 of the questions in the morning portion, and in the afternoon, I felt probably confident about 30 questions. Uh, in the morning, um, I guess there was 35 I felt confident, five I wasn't sure about. I answered all of them, um, and I had about 45 to 30 minutes left after answering the questions to review everything. Uh, so I felt pretty good about the morning. I was feeling myself pretty tough. <laughs> but then the afternoon section was a gut check. Um, like I said, I felt confident. I felt fairly confident about 30 questions, which in reality, that put me at about, uh, you know, I figured if I felt fairly confident, 70% uh, of those questions would be right. Um, another five I felt okay about. So I figured about 50% of those. And then five I completely guessed on. Um, I mean, I guess you could say they're educated guesses, but barely. And I felt I'd probably get 25% just based off of uh, just pure random luck, uh, based on the A through D choices. So, um, you know, but it turned out that I passed the exam on the first go round, and I'm uh, fortunate about that. But just thought I'd cut this in in the beginning of the video just so that you guys can kind of. Get the meat of the video right in front you don't have to waste your time all right back to the regularly scheduled program i'll start off with the morning and then when i go into the afternoon i'll tell you guys uh, that are not taking structural you guys can click out the video because you don't need to hear that portion or maybe you want to but so for the morning uh, to keep it as general as possible i felt really good after the exam about the morning part like during lunch time uh, I use the CERM, the C-E-R-M manual, which I explained is in my other video. Uh, I use that one primarily throughout the whole entire morning section. Um, steel manual is really good for the moment of cheer, uh, statics questions, and also I'm trying to think what else. Those really my only two really that I used. Uh, I used some random practice problems I had, uh, but mainly the CERM, just using that, using the index, I printed out the index, and I put it in the front of my binder, and I tabbed it from A to Z, and if I came to a question I didn't know exactly where to go, uh, from my tabs already in the CERM, I went to index that I had in my binder, and then I went to the CERM, and I found that to be uh, the most efficient use of my time for the morning. Again, don't stress on specifics. The exam changes every uh, exam session. So you won't get the same questions that somebody got six months ago, a year ago. So don't think about specifics. Just think about generalities, what you need to bring, what you need to know uh, for your references. So CERM, big, big one. CERM, statics, just get a, uh, when I say steel manual for the shear moment diagrams in there, you can just print that out online they have plenty of tables online that show you different shear moment diagrams based on loading that'll be very helpful for those conceptual structural problems uh, for you guys who are not taking structural and also for the structural guys and girls so I think that pretty much concludes the morning um, my exam location was right next to a whole bunch of eating spots, so I didn't bring lunch. But you know, I advise that you do, just so that you don't have to try to find lunch uh, in between.
between sessions. Oh, also, don't wear any Fitbits. Uh, I advise you just to get a regular analog watch, one that ticks and tocks, that doesn't beep, because they are really cracking down on that. And, uh, they kicked out a few people I've read uh, across the country uh, based on if they had a smartwatch on or something like that. So just keep it simple. I always had an analog watch on, you know, battery operated, no beeping, easily to tell the time. Uh, I had one guy tell me that he set his clock to 12 o'clock at 8 a.m. so he knew exactly when four hours had passed. He didn't have to think about the hours. So that was actually pretty good advice that I heard from that guy. I think I'm gonna copy it for the SE exam. Right now I'm gonna go into the second portion of how I thought about the afternoon section of the exam. Uh, I was definitely not as confident about the afternoon portion as I was on the morning portion. Um, in retrospect, after exam, I was more confident just because I realized a lot of the questions were easier than what I had made them out to be. Uh, a lot of the questions for the PM structural, you can use the still manual for your moment shear diagrams for those conceptual questions. Man, they really helped me out. Um, a lot of the questions are table lookups as well, either table or, you know, random code reference lookups. Uh, so if you have a good understanding of the index for all your references, that'll help. I'm trying to think what else. Again, uh, per NCE, yes, I can't give you specifics. And I also think it would do you harm to give you specifics. Because I feel like people kind of harp on different uh, concepts. And, oh, yeah, yeah. People say that's going to be on the exam. I'm going to study that. No, I'll just go by the NCES outline and make sure you have each of those subtopics either tabbed in your references or that you know them. Um, you don't need to know everything, just need to know how to find the answer for everything that's on that outline. So keep that in mind. Uh, other than that, that's really all I have for my afterthoughts on the exam. But in the passing, I don't know my exact score but it's good enough to pass, so happy about that. And if you guys have any questions, just hit me up below in the comments. Uh, please subscribe to my other videos. I'll probably make, an, uh, if you guys ask for any more videos on PE, I'll be happy to make them. Uh, right now I'm working on a, uh, kind of like a study guide for the PE, a friend of mine, so as I complete that, I'll keep you guys updated. Let you know if any new information I have, that's going to be kind of like a companion to the CERM, so I'll let you know. All right, thanks.